Taiwan plans to expand its baggage screening exemption program for travelers from the U.S. This July, officials will head to the U.S. to discuss adding carry-on luggage to the exemption list. The initiative aims to save transiting passengers up to one hour of wait time at Taoyuan International Airport. With COVID restrictions eased, passenger volume is recovering fast at Taoyuan International Airport. The Transport Ministry plans to expand its four-year-old one-stop security program by exempting carry-on luggage from security checks. At present, most of the passengers we see are traveling from North America to Taiwan's Taoyuan International Airport, then transiting to flights bound for Southeast Asia or the Northeast Asia. In the past, they had to go through another security check upon arriving in Taiwan. After the program is expanded, if they complete a security check in the U.S., they will not need to undergo a second check when transiting in Taiwan. This one-stop security program applies only to travelers flying in from the U.S., Canada and New Zealand. Currently, such travelers who transit in Taoyuan don't need to take their checked baggage through additional security screening. Four years after the program's inception, the plan is to add carry-on luggage and passengers themselves to the exemption list. This could save transiting passengers up to one hour of wait time. This can help increase the willingness of international passengers to transit in Taipei. With visa-free entry offered for 24-hour transits, passengers can have short excursions in Taiwan. Under the expanded program, an estimated 750,000 transit passengers from the U.S. are expected to benefit each year. Because United Airlines is currently the only U.S. carrier offering daily flights to Taiwan, the expanded program will give a boost to Taiwan Airlines with U.S. routes, such as China Airlines, EVA Air and Starlux Airlines. For travelers going through the U.S. security check, the details of the procedures may be different. Of course, these airport security checks will need to be strictly enforced. During the transit process, the risk that we run is that after the traveler departs the U.S., he or she may obtain things that are harmful to flight safety. Taiwan officials will head to the U.S. in late July to discuss the program expansion with the Transportation Security Administration. They've also reached out to Canada in hopes of expanding the program for Canadian flights as soon as possible.